God wants us to possess His promises. The Word of God declares that every promise for us in Christ Jesus is yes and amen, which means that God wants us to have and enjoy every promise and every blessing uh, that He has offered to us. Uh, we can look at what happened uh, with Joshua and his generation and, and gain some insights about possessing the promises of God. Now, um, Joshua and his people uh, walked into the promised land and, and, and that wasn't the end of the story. Uh, it was just the beginning of, of, a, of another season um, in the life of Israel where they had to dispossess their enemies um, and they, they had to actively go ahead and possess the regions that God had given them. So uh, after fighting many battles uh, and trying to take over parts uh, or portions of the land uh, which were meant to be uh, for, for the Israelites, here's what Joshua, uh, uh, he, he perceives and, and he speaks this to his people. Joshua 18.3, he says, How long will you neglect to go and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers has given you? There are, are territories that were given to uh, the, the children of Israel, but they didn't actively possess those, those um, portions. Now, uh, the, these were territories that were spoken of by Moses as well. In Deuteronomy 1.21, you know, Moses says, Behold, the Lord your God has set the land before you. Go up and take possession of it, just as the Lord, the God of your fathers, has spoken to you. Do not fear or be dismayed. So Moses too sent the people out with the instruction to possess the land that was on their name. Uh, and, you know, even today, we believe that God's heart is the same, uh, though we are not, you know, talking so much about uh, physical territory. Uh, God wants us to possess our spiritual territory. God is always a God who offers uh, His promises to us and you know, God wants His children to subdue, to in, uh, to subdue the enemies, to to inherit and possess the land, and in fact, God wants us to dwell uh, in in the land, uh, similar to what happened to the people of Israel when they moved to the Promised Land. It wasn't easy, you know, everything was not uh, clear, so they they could just move in and enjoy enjoy their lives, but they still had to fight enemies, uh, and God's encouragement went out to them to to go ahead and fight the enemy. And I believe that's true today as well. We know about the blessings of the cross. We know about the blessings of Abraham that have been provided uh, to us. We know of the various uh, promises of God that are extended to us. And yet, uh, you know, we've, we, we are in a position where uh, we we have to consciously fight for these blessings and sometimes it, it doesn't just come upon us. Uh, yes, Jesus has won the victory. Yes, Jesus has defeated the devil. Uh, and yet, you know, for us to receive these blessings and walk in the promises, we have to contend for them. We have to fight uh, a good fight of faith. Uh, and so today, I just want to encourage us uh, to identify all the promises of God that, that have uh, your name on, on it and you know go ahead and uh, pursue those promises uh, and just like the Israelites we too are not going to have them because they have our name on it uh, but we, we are going to have to actively possess those territories. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, that, uh, Lord, you've extended uh, all your mighty promises towards us, O oh God. And Father, even in enjoying your promises, Lord, we know that we partake of your divine nature, O oh God, that, Lord, we relate to you in a deeper way. And God, your heart is really for each one of us, God, to, to uh, enjoy every blessing. Lord, thank you that you want us to be healed. You want us to be delivered, O oh God. Father, you want us to break all, uh, out of... Uh, the chains of addiction, poverty, uh, Lord, sickness. Father, absolutely everything, oh God, that holds us captive. And so this day, God, I speak and declare, Lord, your victory, Father God, over our lives. And I pray, God, that, that each one of us will put up a good fight, fight of faith. Uh, and God, that we will possess every promise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.